Welcome to another PTZ Optics tutorial video. This video is a helpful addition to your PTZ Optics NDI camera setup video. In this tutorial video, we will review the PTZ Optics NDI JSON editor, which is a new tool available from PTZ Optics to help solve NDI discovery issues on your network. If you've ever had an issue with the discovery of an NDI source on your network, this tool can help. This tool will help you create a static entry for your PTZ Optics NDI camera. When automatic discovery over your network is unable to locate your PTZ Optics NDI camera, this tool will work on any Mac or PC computer. Note, it's always recommended to download the latest NDI tools from NewTek when you are experiencing any issues as updates are regularly made to the software from NewTek to ensure the best compatibility between products. This solution is only meant to be used as a temporary fix when you are unable to rectify network issues related to MDNS that can cause discovery to fail. If you would like to learn more about networking solutions for NDI and solving MDNS discovery issues, check out our knowledge base articles focusing on the Ubiquity and TP-Link networking equipment for a permanent solution at help.ptzoptics.com, where you can find both our forums and our knowledge base. And don't forget, when troubleshooting with NDI, we have a helpful guide to assist with NDI troubleshooting. That is also available at help.ptzoptics.com. All right, let's take a look at the JSON editor. So this is a very simple and easy tool to use. It only requires that you have HTML file on your PC, an NDI PTZ Optics camera source, and a network. First, open your PTZ Optics NDI JSON editor HTML file. Read all the notes and instructions available on the main interface page. Click the browse button and navigate to the default directory of your NDI JSON file. You can quickly reference these default directories in the JSON HTML file file itself. Select the JSON file in the directory typically titled ndi-plugins.version1.json and click open. Note that if you have never made a static entry into your JSON file, either manually or using NDI Access Manager, you will see no entries made and be provided a warning that no sources currently exist. Click the Add Source button. Enter the name of the PTZ Optics NDI source under Name. Note that that when naming a static entry, you can supply a simple name such as camera one, or you can create a group of cameras with a unique name under the group title by naming sources such as auditorium A camera one using the brackets where the group title is auditorium A and the sub selection will be the camera one. Enter the static IP address for the PTZ Optics NDI source under the IP address. Repeat steps five through eight, which would be click add source source, enter the name, and obviously enter the IP address as many times as you need to, to for each static IP address and each camera you want to save. Then simply click Save JSON button, which will be downloaded within a new JSON file into your default downloads directory. Manually copy and replace the original JSON file located in the directory you used for step three, which is where we browse to the default NDI data directory. Now, remember that this file must be exactly the same as the original JSON file, or the NDI tools will fail to use the new file. You should now be able to launch NDI Studio Monitor or any NDI capable production software and immediately see your static entries. To delete sources, simply open the NDI JSON generator file, read all notes and instructions available on the main interface page, click the browse button and navigate to the default directory of your JSON file. Select the JSON file in this directory and open up your file. You should now see static entries that have been made and listed here. Click on the delete source button next to any static entry you wish to remove. Repeat this step for each static entry you'd like to delete. You can manually copy and replace the original JSON file located in your directory to use this newly updated JSON file. You should now be able to launch Studio Monitor or any NDI production software and immediately see the changes to your static entries. So just a warning, 
it's highly recommended to make a backup copy of your original JSON file before replacing this file. This way, if anything becomes unstable, you can always return to the system to the original state that it was with a simple copy in place. For convenience, you can save the original copy in the same directory as the new file. Just change its name until you need to reuse it. This tool has been designed for use with cameras that have been statically assigned with IP addresses. If you are using the, your camera with DHCP, they may change IP addresses and your static entry will no longer function. As a result, we highly suggest only using this tool with cameras that have been given static IP addresses on your network. If you have made a static entry for your DHCP assigned camera and the camera changes its IP, or you have a camera that is disconnected from your network, you may cause Studio Monitor or related NDI production software to crash upon attempting to connect to the now non-existent source. If you are using a mix of PTZ Optics, NDI JSON Generator, NDI Access Manager, and NDI Studio Monitor, note that you may see the same PTZ Optics NDI source show up as three separate instances. Please note, we do not provide any support in relation to this tool and take no responsibility for any impact or losses that may result from its use. So please be careful, follow the knowledge base article in detail, and reach out to our support team at help.ptzoptics.com before you use this in a way that you might think might be inappropriate. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like if you'd like to see more engineering related video content like this, and thanks for taking your time to watch this video. Bye.